Tanya Perez, this is my audience. This speech is my autobiography. The specific purpose of my speech is to inform you guys, my audience, who I am and what I'm trying to achieve. Three of the main things that mainly describe the person I am today are my love for music and movies, my passion for helping others, and my desire to further my career. Hi. My name is Tanya Perez. I'm 32 years old. I'm the youngest out of six siblings, and I am married to my beautiful high school sweetheart. We got married in 2015. Um, also, I'm a certified nursing assistant at University Medical Center. My life tends to be pretty hectic. When I'm not at work, I'm either doing something for school, like homework or quizzes, um, studying. I just finished taking biology, so it was a lot of studying. Um, I run around town, drive my parents to from their appointments, take myself as well. And whenever I do find time in my busy schedule, I try to squeeze in as many concerts and music festivals as I can. I also rely on music for just calming down during the day. If I'm having a hard time, like at work, I will step into the break room, listen to one or two songs, and just relax before I go right back at it. I will share with you guys um, my experience in working in healthcare. Um, I was 19, straight out of high school decided to enroll in CSN and um, get my certified nursing assistant certificate. I did that and immediately after passing my state boards, I got hired at a rehabilitation hospital where I worked for about 10 years. Um, the first five to six years of that, I did CNA work and it was amazing. I loved every aspect of it, just helping people out, it was great. Um, around five or six years when I was there, I was recruited by the case managers to become their assistant. So I thought maybe something new, something different. <clears throat> so I took that opportunity. Something about working just in an office, just doing clerical work, it wasn't really fulfilling. Sure, I was helping patients out in a different aspect during their stay, during their stay with us, but it's just, wasn't enough for me. So I went back to the floor and I started doing CNA again. Uh, 2017, I got this itch to try something new. So I said, I would change the setting I work in and I applied at UMC. I got hired and that's really where everything just changed for me. I specifically liked the, loved the fast-paced setting that I was in now. Very different from what I was used to, so I was really enjoying that. And the first two, three years was really great. Then COVID happened in 20, 2020, and it was just really hard. Watching so many patients um, need a lot of help. My RN coworkers just being stretched thin so many of them either quitting because it was too much or um, them being out on leave because they got COVID. I actually got COVID and was out for about two, three months as well. Seeing all that just did something to me. So I decided like I wanted to do more. I wish I could do more to alleviate their burden. Like they're, they just have so much to do. So my scope of practice wouldn't allow me to do more than I can already. So that really drove me to want to go back to school and achieve my RN. 
So that's why I'm here. Um, so that's a couple things that could define who I am today. And I'm very glad to share them with you all. Thank you for your time.